Hello and welcome back to our KSP career, where in this episode we will be designing this magnificent plane, which Werner von Kerman is about to check and make some notes. So, what do you think, Werner? Yes, it will be collecting all kinds of great data and science points. So, let's get to it. Right, in order to unlock it, we need to be checking out and unlocking some technology. Uh, namely, actu no, no actuators. Actuators we're gonna unlock later on. But first, we need to unlock supersonic flight. Yes, uh, supersonic flight will give us an access to the Mark II cockpit, which is this beautiful cockpit. I really love. It's one of my favorite designs. And then we will be putting this dual engine, on which on top we will be putting some Panthers, after burning turbofan, because those are an um those are amazing engines to be able to, you know, push the craft very, very fast. Uh, we'll be putting communitrons and uh, a lot of experiments inside because the purpose of this plane is to fly high above, well, maybe not high above, but, uh, you know, low above certain areas, collect experiments, do the experiments, land, and then take off and go back to the KSE. Yes, I know, very demanding task. Because I've been collecting a lot of data around Kerbin, started to go into the Kerbin system, a little bit, you know, interplanetary. But when it comes to gathering data around various points in Kerbin, I have done some, but not a lot. So, and I also really, really, really wanted to design a plane, because it's been a while since I've designed the last one, and I really think, I, I really enjoy designing planes and space planes and whatnot, so figure might as well, you know, cram it full of experiments and then have a reason to launch a plane. So, and I needed a reason to take uh, the plane supersonic because until now we have only been playing with subsonic planes and, you know, Mark 1s. So, having a Mark 2 is actually a very nice addition. So, that's the main fuselage being done. Then we're going to go with the B9 procedural wings, wings, mainly because I love their design, I love their aesthetic, and I really hate tiling the wings. I really don't like how the wings are designed in the KSP-1, and I'm super stoked that the, there will be procedural wings in the KSP-2. I cannot wait for that one to come. Let me know, what, are, what will you guys be designing when the KSP-2 comes out? Will be, you be designing rockets, planes, or something else? I'm just curious, put it in the comments below. I'm really curious what is your favorite design. All right, so fixing up, you know, leading, trailing edges. Uh, I've done many experiments to see which one would be flying the best. And I've come up with this guy, which is kind of a simplistic. However, I really like it's a little bit reminiscent to me of, um, you know, if you know, not the F-22 Raptor, but YF-23 Switchblade, I think it's called. Uh, and mainly because of the wingtip design that I'm about to design soon-ish. Right, so uh, I'm thinking of uh, going with expanding these because I really need some good control surfaces. Let's align them with back edges and we're not gonna be scaling thickness. We need to really modify this to our heart's content because it looks a little bit like an overkill. So we really need to modify it ever so slightly come on yep that one thickness i really don't think it needs to be that thick oh that's the thickness no no, no i need to not the width i need to, the thickness of the edge or yeah that one it was too thick i mean it really wasn't that fun all right so that thing let's offset okay see now it's taking shape like it good and now the wingtips so the reason why I'm going with wingtips typically is to provide some vertical stabilization when the craft is flying. So if I want to bank, you know, and do whatever, typically if my wings are straight and I have no winglets, I get a lot of, you know, side slip. And I've tried with the old moving wing and tails and actually I've had so much side slip that my, you know, aircraft went into a flat spin. So I don't want to allow that and I want to have I also want iconic look look at this so of course I'm not gonna have this uh, you know this long however let's design the wingtips and then I'm gonna fold them by 45 degrees exactly see love that design 
Also, that makes the whole craft a little bit more stable. So, rigid attachment, let's correct everything. I actually like this. See? Good. Now, small landing gear in front and then the medium landing gear at the back. That looks nice. A little bit closer to the center of mass. I think it would be handy. Let's put the intakes. Yes, we need the intakes. There we go. I mean, it looks sleek. Let's test it. Hit it! Catherine and Bartram are testing out. This is obviously just a simulation. I mean, do you see any safety parameters, any safety equipment? I didn't think so. So I'm just testing out how well the craft flies and how much authority, because I need to put a little bit more authority, less authority for various, you know, components. I was thinking of doing a full circle and then just landing back on the runway while we're doing this little bit of testing. Craft maneuvers pretty smoothly so far. I'm just trying to see if I can test how does it perform in turns and everything. It's going to act quite fast. And we're about to break the sound barrier. Kaboom! Alright. And now let's make a turn and hopefully land this up. Oh! Yeah! Okay, failed due to the aerodynamic stress. Okay, it had a little bit too much authority and too little stability. However, the design is sound which means I only want to be putting down the security parameters when it comes to, you know, landing system. I mean, when I see parachutes, of course I mean landing system. You didn't think that I was actually going to land this on its landing gear now, did you? Yeah, no, kidding. This is actually just a backup landing system, just in case something goes horribly wrong. And for some reason, we need to save our kerbals because our kerbals are valuable. Yes, I know they're all haphazard, however, my Kerbals are actually the people that you guys like, comment and whatnot, and some of you might get even a name the Kerbal after themselves. And the best way to do so is to either become, become one of my patrons or a YouTube member, or that you become such a helpful and frequent commenter to the society that eventually you will get added to the roster. So, without further ado, let's try and do a second test of this flight, and let's see how it goes. Right. The cross seem to be performing nicely, you see the tips and turns and everything, and I want this time I want to test the, mainly I think the landing system, and I want to test the brakes, I want to test a couple more things, and as you can see the craft itself it's stable, it's not tipping over, it's not side slipping, which was the main problem with most of my craft so far, so all in all I would say it's performing rather well. Look at it go. It goes really, really fast. Ooh, that's a one. That's a keeper. All right. 400. And now let's pull up the brakes. Ooh, now that's some serious deceleration right there. All right. Turn. And let's see if we can get it to land even, maybe. I mean, that would be a nice challenge now, wouldn't it? Yeah, I definitely think so. So, flaps extended, air brakes, Oh, well, somebody like pulling a handbrake turn on this one. All right, now, actually, you know guys, I might have even removed the extended KSC because it makes my life a lot more complicated when it comes in terms of landing on this runway. Look at this, hangers here, everything, a lot of things that I could, you know, clip with the wings. And, oh, 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 overshoot, 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 uh, yeah. Gear up, gear up, and let's do another... Well, we're not gonna do a full circle, guys, come on, I mean, you don't really need to witness my poor flying skills. What I plan to do is I just plan to make a circle and then land back, hopefully. Now, kicking a little bit of speed just to make sure that we can... There we go, brakes, and turn. What? What? fascinates me that the craft is stable regardless of the speed because a lot of my previous designs I, you almost needed to be near supersonic to be able to control it and that just indicates a bad design yes i know i suck at designing planes however i like designing them so this guy look it's perfectly stable at 150 meters per second and we will even decrease it 
because its landing touchdown speed should be around 120 tops, should be even less if you ask me. And this uh, runway isn't the world's best runway, it's not fully upgraded yet, I intend to upgrade it at some point, but you know, when I start designing more planes and stuff. Okay, 120, 130, now we pull up a little bit more brakes, come on. Okay, and oh, 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 oh. Yo, 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 then you, yo, right, come on, oh, stop, 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 come on, handbrake, handbrake, whew, we landed in one piece, that doesn't happen so often, all right, which means that design is soundproof, now, we'll take Bartram out, can we take, go out, oh, wait, wait for me, wait for me, grab it, grab it, okay, good, so the design seems to be okay, now what we need to do is we just need to start constructing. So let's pull up the brakes, get back to the space plane hangar and let's queue it up for production. So, Werner, do you think that the craft is good? Yeah, you're looking, you're rolling your eyes. I know what that means. Well, you know, that means that this craft will be going into production. So I'm gonna queue it up. And for the rest of you, thank you very much for watching. A like on this video would be super appreciated. And as always, Hit subscribe and I'm gonna see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.